So it turns out that we can actually make semiconductors by doping certain insulating materials such as silicon with certain atoms such as phosphorus and aluminium. And the reason we want to do this is so that we can create materials with very specific electrical properties which we need in certain devices. So how this works is silicon has four valency electrons. If we dope it with a group 5 element such as phosphorus which has five valency electrons we're effectively adding an additional donor level to our energy level diagram and that donor level is just below the conduction band so this means that the electrons in that field donor level don't need very much energy to jump up to the conduction band where they can start to conduct a current now this is known as an n-type semiconductor as we've added some additional negative charge carriers electrons around the phosphorus as the phosphorus has five electrons while the silicon only has four electrons. We can also create p-type or positive type semiconductors by doping silicon by adding a group three element such as aluminium. So aluminium only has three valence electrons. So on our energy level diagram, this is effectively adding an empty level just above the valence level. So it doesn't take very much energy to have electrons jump from the valence level up into this empty acceptor level, which leaves holes behind in the valence band. And those holes are then free to move, conducting a current. Now it turns out that when we're adding these dopant atoms, we don't need to add very many at all. If we replace just one in a million of the silicon atoms with the dopant atom, we have a very big effect on the electrical conductivity properties of the material.